exercises. Exercise, yeah. full body blast, of course. Um, and we've got five exercises in each round. Each of them, only five reps. Sounds easy, but there's a twist. Um, it is the kind of format where you do the first one, and then you do the first and second, then you do first, second, third, first, second, third, fourth, fifth, first, you know, ex right, like that. Um, like that. Um, so it's only five reps for each exercise, which is great. But obviously, so we're starting off for the first round, we've got five squats, and then you've got to do five squats, five bicep curls, five squats, five bicep curls, five V-ups, five squats, five bicep curls, five V-ups, five press-ups, then yeah. five squats, five bicep curls, five V-ups, five press-ups, and five shoulder press. Doable, it's the same amount of reps. I did it, I did the maths as a usual round. It's just like choppy up, you know, it's chopped up, it's a little bit uh, in a different way. So it shouldn't be really super difficult because it's the same-ish amount of reps um, overall. <clears throat> and we've got three rounds. Uh, but we will start with some warming up. I'll set myself up a little bit. What if I go here in the way of warm up? This is warm up I did the other day. I can't remember if I did this one with Helen or if I did it with Joss a while ago. Um, no, we did. I did do it with Helen. We're doing the same one because there was nobody. It was just me and Helen last time. So we're going to do the same. Same one. Um, so we're starting with our side to side jumps. We'll do that for 15 seconds, side to side, and then we'll do uh, knee rotations, 15 seconds, like so. Uh, then we will do jumping jacks, 15 seconds, uh, and then mountain climbers, 15 seconds. These ones. Um, so that's a minute in total, and then we'll do it twice. Um, so I'm going to get time this time. I'm gonna to remember to pay attention to the timer because I accidentally made Helen do loads and loads of uh, jumping the other day because I forgot to look at the time. Uh, <laughs> okay, um, so 15 seconds for each one. Give me up a little bit more so you can see my face. There we go. Uh, okay, so starting with some side to side jumping. We're starting three, two, one. Let's get warming up. So just a little bit, you know. A foot or so each side, you know. Okay, coming up on 15 seconds. Nice. And then is it jumping jacks? I've already forgotten. No, knee rotations. <laughs> so these ones. Almost there. Last few seconds. And then it's jumping jacks. No rest, no breaks, we're just gonna keep going so we can get nice and warm. All right, five more seconds of these. And then get on the floor and do some quick mountain climbers. Quick as you can. <clears throat> there we go. Same again. <laughs> so get up, back to side to side jumps. 15 seconds go. My face. All right, keep going. And knee rotations. Five more seconds. And jumping jacks. Try and get as many as you can. Really do it quickly so we can get nice and warm. A few more seconds. And mountain climbers. To the floor, to the floor. There we go. La, 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 la. Everything else planned out. Okay, so just a couple of little mobility things just before we get started on our main body. Um, I want to do some leg swings. So something to hold on to if you need it. And swing out your leg in front of you. And then bend the knee, bring it behind you. 
just to get those hips and knee joints moving and your ankles to be fair as long as you remember to point your toes and gradually you can get a little bit higher each time Ooh. okay and then the other leg oh we're going to keep the sofa on the face display that one's better come this thing. <laughs> Okay, we're going to need some roundabout toe touches. So that is, I like to have my hands in the air the whole time. Reaching down to the side, coming down to the middle, reach for your toes, and then back up. So you can just keep your arms by your sides and reach for the toes like this. Or you can have your arms up the whole time and be a bit like a clock face, doing your whole body. It's probably a little bit more effective to do it this way, but you do look a little bit sillier. <laughs> A few of those, moving the hips, stretching the hamstrings on the way down and up. Okay, and the last thing, just some shoulder twists. Just do a little bit more upper body since we've done a lot of lower. Okay. Now it's okay. I'll bring myself back down. Here we go. How's that? It's a little bit straighter. Okay, so I mentioned before our exercises are body weight squats, bicep curls, V ups, press ups, and shoulder press. So, all ones you're familiar with, but we've got body weight squats, just bending at the knee, pushing the hips back like that. We've got bicep curls, you're gonna need your dumbbells, just regular curls, five of those, oh, obviously more squats and then those. Um, and then the other two squats, bicep curls, then V-ups, which are these ones. If those are too tricky, you can do your, uh, bring the knees up and try and bring your hands to your knees. And if even that's too tricky, just go with the knees. So depending on how you're feeling, how you're getting on, either way is fine. Um, so then those three again, and then we've got press-ups. You can do normal press-ups, knee press-ups, or more boxy ones, like so. Uh, and then finally shoulder press. You'll probably want to do these standing, just pressing above your head like so so i will try my best um for all of us to try and keep in time keep us all in time uh so we're all doing the same thing because i know it can be hard to keep track so i'll have the list out in front of me shouting at you what to do next okay all right right let's do it so we're starting off with five body weight squats pretty much immediately followed by five more and then bicep curls Put myself up a little bit more, okay. So, five, and then another five, so we're basically starting with 10. In three, two, one, go. Okay, there's my 10. And then five bicep curls whenever you're ready. You're really tiny. Can I make you any bigger? Is there anything you can do? Not really. Oh, that's better. Okay, go for it. And we're all in unison. This is brilliant. <laughs> um, then back to your body weight squats once you've done all five. So five more squats. So once you've done your five squats, grab your dumbbells and you've got five more curls. Loose these ones, okay. Go for it. Okay, 
There we go. Just finish those up, Faye. Um, so we've got V-ups next, but obviously five more squats, five more curls. Wait, no, hang on. No, V-ups, V-ups. We've got, uh, I lost count, it is V-ups now, yeah. <laughs> we've already done half curls. <sighs> Sorry about that. I'm getting confused already, we've only just started. Okay, there we go. So now <laughs> we've got five more squats, five more curls, five more V-ups, and then press-ups. So get yourself going whenever you're ready. Oh, wait, I'm gonna do six. <laughs> um, five squats, five bicep curls, Oh, hang on, that's five, yeah. <laughs> Keep wanting to do more than five. Um, then V-ups, whenever you're ready. So that's five V-ups, and then straight on to five press-ups. Go. <clears throat> nice. How are we doing? Almost there. This is the last one now. So we've got shoulder press finally to add. So five squats, five bicep curls, five B ups, five press ups, and five shoulder press. Whenever you're ready, get started on the final round. Five or Press ups when you're ready. And then finally, your shoulder press. So, dumbbells up here by your shoulders, and then press them up towards the ceiling and try not to hit. <laughs> Just five. There we go. So once you've done all five, that is the end of the round. How are we getting on there? We go, all done. That was all right, doable. Give us a thumbs up. Are you alive? Yeah, okay, all right. Not too bad. So now we've got five calf raises, which is one we don't do often. Um, five tricep extensions, five chest flies, five lunges, and five lateral raises. So. The calf extension you might usually do on a step or a machine, but we haven't got either of those. So you can do it one of two ways, or well, one of many ways, but essentially, if you've got a little step or like a book that you want to use, that's okay. I'm just going to do it on the floor. It's better if you have a raised thing to put your toes on, um, but I don't really. In fact, what's this? Let's have a look. It's the Farron Ball How to Decorate Home book. Wonderful. <laughs> so if I don't ruin my mum's book, feet are so slightly raised, hold on to something for you to, and just point your toes using those calves, or what are they called, calves? Yeah, <laughs> to go up like that. Or you can just do them on the floor, starting flat, and raise the toes. If that's just too easy, bear in mind we're gonna do quite a lot of them. You can have two dumbbells and do them, or just the one if you want to hold on to something. So I'm holding on to the thing up here. 
just to add a little bit of extra weight, trying to pull you down. You can do your calf raises like that. So following that, we have tricep extensions. So a classic, a recurring one, just like that. Elbow up, weight pushing above your head. You can see it, there we go. Then we have chest flies, lunges, and lateral raises. So a fly, we've done a few times before. Flat on the floor. Shoulders flat, knees bent, weights in the air. And then bring them out to the side, don't let them touch the floor. And back up. And try and squeeze your chest at the top. So five of those. And then I believe ah, it's five lunges, is this correct? It is five lunges. So normal lunge, step forward one, two. I know five is a difficult number because you can do an uneven amount of legs. Um, <laughs> um, but it should be okay. Actually, you'll do them 10 times. So in the end, as long as you remember which leg you started on the other one, you should hit them both the same amount of times. Uh, and then finally, five lateral raise or raises. Another one we're very familiar with. Leading with the elbows, arms out to the side. Pinkies facing up, like that. Just five of those. Make sure that's all good to go. Does that sound okay? Are we all all right with those ones? Need any changes? Thumbs up, thumbs up, awesome. Cool, so calf raises, five, and then five more. So we'll just start with 10 calf raises, and then we'll go into our tricep extensions. So find your space. And we'll go three, two, I think we never do calf, sorry. Just stop to a two, but we never train calf that much. So we're gonna do it. <laughs> um, yeah, we'll go have a dumbbell actually. Starting in three, two, one, go. Remember to hold them at the top just a bit. Four, five. All right, uh, no, 10, we're doing 10. <laughs> Keep going. <laughs> there we go. So then we've got um, overhead extensions. You still can't see me, really. Uh, oh, sorry, I'm still on my knees. This one. So we'll do five on this arm to start off with, and then five on the other for the second time around. So I'm going to start my right arm. One, two, three, four, five, and then we go back to calf raises. And I remember for the next round, I'm gonna do my left arm. So we get even sort of muscle development on each side. There's five. I've got my dumbbell. <laughs> there we go. And then tricep, uh, just five. But, so it was only 10 the first time because we have to do it twice the first one. Um, but it's usually just five. Five aren't many, but it'll be enough. Two. There's my five. And then what do we have? Chest flies. So obviously not yet. Five more calf raises, five more tricep extensions, and then chest flies. I'll grab that. Take it away. Cool. Um, Try some extension. That's my five. And then chest flies. Whenever you're ready, obviously don't rush. Well, I know you guys get them done in a timely fashion, so it's all good. All right. So, lie on the floor, weights up in the air above you, and whenever you're ready, go for it. It's five. Oh. 
So all done with those. Great stuff. Back into your calf raises. If you put your feet close together, uh, it's harder. So if you find it too easy, put your toes together. Um, Trice extensions. It's this one now. Five, and then flies after your extensions. Uh, and then it's lunges when you're ready. Get that out of the way. Uh, I need to move this so it's more straight. There you go, that's much better. Five of those. And then back to the top. More calf raises, more extensions, more flies, more lunges. And then to finish off, I can't remember what we've got. We have lateral raises. So get on those flies whenever you're ready. And not flies, raises. Oh, hang on, six. <laughs> um, tricep extension. Then flies. And lunges. Start on the opposite leg, so we'll get an even amount of lunches on each leg. Lunches? Lunges. <laughs> okay, uh, and then lateral raises whenever you're good to go with those to finish this off. Five, nice one. So just get those done, last exercise of this round. And then you can oh, there grab a drink, catch your breath, and I'll talk you through the next round. Get my drink. Cool, right. And cool, leg raises, good home workouts. And over rows. Ah, I'll tell you what, I put chest flies into this round as well, even though we've done those already. I think of a different thing for, to finish off with. Um, right, so we start off with hammer curls. More curls this time, but different, more curls, different style. <laughs> right. So hammer curls, done these recently. No movement of the wrist, all the control in your forearm. Just bringing the weight up to just over 90 degrees or just about 90 degrees. There's no need to bring it all the way up because you're not using your muscle that much for this sort of bit. So as long as you get up to about here, and back down, you're okay. Um, so hammer curls and then leg raises. So on the mat, torso flat, arms flat on the floor, raising your legs off the ground. Done loads of those. Uh, glute hand walkouts next. So hips off the ground, shoulders on the floor, knees bent, walking out. Hold yourself just off the ground, no touching the ground like you do with your hips, and back up. There's another one. You can walk it, or you can just do a big step. <laughs> that is up to you. Uh, glute hand walkouts, then we have bent over rows. Another not too unfamiliar one. 
So slight bend in the knees, bend back, but nice and straight, or bend in the hips, but straight back. Rowing the weights up towards you, uh, your torso, pulling those in with your lats. And I've put chest flies, but I need to think of something else. So instead, what should we do? What have we done in this round? We've done bicep, we've done core, we've done hand glutes, we've done back. Let's do, we've done shoulder, we did, we did a fair bit of shoulder in the other rounds. Mm. So I wanna make it good, I could just pick anything, uh, but I wanna make it semi-interesting. Let's do, Oh, I can't think of anything good. We'll just do front race. No, that's what we ended the last round with, with lateral race. Can't do front race. Uh, I'll tell you what, we'll finish off with five burpees. We only have to do them once, so we might as well finish the last round with a bit of a killer. So, hammer curls, leg raises, glue hand walkouts, bent over rows and burpees. Um, right, let's do it, starting off. We'll go first. Okay, so 10 hammer curls. Hang on a sec. Hey, you got to start with those. Hold on. Okay, we're good to go, Faye. Nice one. Okay, so 10 hammer curls to start off with, but then it's five after that. Starting in three, two, one, go. That's not hammer curl, that's me working off it. <laughs> no, that's a regular curl. There's 10. Uh, so then we have leg raises. So onto the floor. Uh, five, whenever you're ready. So there's our five. And then straight back into five more hammer curls. And five leg raises, and again. Then once done your leg raises, we've got some glute hand walkouts. So stay in your position on the floor, staying like this, hips up, and walk yourself out. Hold it there for a second in the bottom position and then back up to the top. I think that was five. <laughs> um, then back to the top, hammer curls, leg raises, walkouts, and then bent over rows after that. So back to your curls when you're ready. Try and keep your elbows in place by your side so you're only moving the forearm, bending at the elbow as opposed to moving your whole elbow. Um, leg raises. So there we go. Glue hand walkouts, so stay on the floor once you've done those. Hips off the floor, walk yourself out. <clears throat> Oops. 
So once you walk your back, self back up for the fifth time, uh, we have bent over ropes. So just like that, little bend in the knee, bend at the hip, straight back, and row up. Nice and slow and controlled. Excellent. And back to the top. Once you've done those. Nice one. Almost there. And then back to your curls. Hang on, that's six. <laughs> um, so leg raises off that. <clears throat> Last time. All right, and once you're in your leg raises, you've got your glute hand walkouts. There. <laughs> what would I put off that? Uh, walkouts, then rows. Yep, just like well done, Helen. You're ahead of the game. Great job. Oh, yeah, that's hard. Cool. Five, and then finally, uh, what did I say? Burpees. Last exercise, though. So enjoy it. Out of the way of the thing before I smack my head on the TV box. Uh, we're gonna hit the roof, maybe. <laughs> awesome, and that's the end of that. So, that's the end of our main body. What time is it? Oh, a little bit, hang on. What time do we start? Half past. Oh no, no that's right. Got 10 minutes. <laughs> I thought we'd gone over, but it's quarter past, don't we, when we finish. Uh, oh, let me straighten that out. Let's do some stretches. Uh, right, so we'll just do same as we started off with, but instead of the around the world ones, we'll just do just some normal toe touches. Start off with, so feet out in front of you, shoulder width apart, just reaching down, hold it there for a bit, and back up. And that down. Try and go maybe five times. Just stretching, feeling the stretch in the back of your legs each time. Or as far down as you can go, obviously, if you can't reach the floor, that's fine. All right, and then we will do, what's your, we'll do quads. So I'm gonna grab onto my little ledge up here. Just pull your leg back. So holding onto the ankle, and then bring your knee ever so slightly back, like that, feeling a stretch here, in the front of your quadricep, like that. And the more you put it back, the more you should feel the stretch. And if you want an extra challenge, obviously you can try and lean over as well and try and hit the hamstring in the sporting leg. Little like last Superman. Do, 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 do. Okay, and then the other leg. Do it facing this way. Okay, so hamstring first. And then go for the knee. I'm gonna have to lean very far before I already feel it in my, stretching out my hamstring. Okay, and back up. 
So we will then do tricep. Hand behind your head, elbow up at the sky. Grab the opposite, uh, grab the elbow with the opposite hand and put it towards your neck or towards your head. Just putting the stretch there. There we go. And then the other side. So swap elbows, pulling that towards your head. Just get a good stretch there on the back side of your arm. And then back down. And we'll do uh, lats, but on its own this time. So one hand on your hip, one hand on your, uh, one hand in the air, sorry. And I want you to twist to the side. Really reach, reach as you can, as far as you can, to feel that stretch here. And hopefully here in the side of your oblique as well. So it's a little bit of back, a little bit of core. Feel a whole stretch here. The more you like reach, the more you should feel the stretch in your back. And then the other side. And back up. Uh, what are we gonna do? Just doing some more rolls. Um, back, do we will. What am I missing? Chest should be okay. We haven't done too, too bad on the chest. Just give us a few, yeah, little spins just to make sure you're all, all limbered up and moving around. Uh, I think what we'll do, I don't know if this one's too difficult. Um, I know we've done it before. The Cobra. It's a good one. Stretching your forearms, your, um, your chest a bit, putting those shoulders back. But I don't know if this one you find too difficult. Um, and I don't want to keep making you do it if you can't do it. That's flat on the floor on your front and then bringing your chest off the floor, walking yourself back, holding it up in the air. So shoulders back, chest up. So you should hopefully feel a little stretch in your chest, pulling those shoulders back and in mainly in your core. And then just real quick, if you can, Try and move your wrists around a little bit, just so you can feel the stretch there, either like this in a box shape, or you can try and do your cobra like that. Or of course, if that's difficult, head in your piece to it, this one. <laughs> um, just move stretching those forearms, could do those hammer curls today, nice forearm control. Uh, and that will probably do us. Uh, obviously once you've done both arms, obviously if you do both at the same time, that's okay. Um, but I think we're probably okay. I'll go, oh, we're about four minutes early. So I'll make up for all the time I usually keep you behind about 10 minutes late. <laughs> Thank you. That's Bye. all right.